My name is Gyeongju Sun. I was born in Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea. I came to South Korea in 2009. I am 18 years old, and I am currently in my second year of high school. I was the only child of a very wealthy family. My father was an assistant of Kim Jong-il, who is the leader of North Korea. When I was only six years old, my family was politically persecuted by the North Korean government. So we escaped to China. That was in 1998. After we settled in China, one of our relatives led my family to church. There my parents came to know the amazing grace and love of God. Then only a few months later, my mother, who was pregnant with her second child, passed away from leukemia. Yet in the midst of this family tragedy, my father started a Bible study with missionaries from South Korea and America. It was his strong desire to become a missionary to North Korea. But suddenly in 2001, he was reported and arrested by the Chinese police and was sent back to North Korea, where he was sentenced to prison. He was forced to leave me behind. But the three years he served in prison only made my father's faith stronger. He cried out to God more desperately rather than to complain or blame him. When he was released from prison, he returned to China. We were reunited briefly. It was then that he started to gather Bibles. Not long after, he decided to return to North Korea to share Christ's message of life and hope among the hopeless people of his homeland. He chose not to go to South Korea where he could have enjoyed religious freedom. Instead, he chose to return to North Korea to share the love of God in a dangerous land. It breaks my heart to tell you that in 2006, his work was discovered by the North Korean government and he was again imprisoned. I have heard no word from my father nor about him ever since. In all probability, he has been shot to death in public on charges of treason and espionage, as is so often the case for persecuted Christians in North Korea. When my father was arrested the first time in 2001 and was forced to leave me and return to North Korea, I was not yet a Christian. That's when I was adopted by a young Chinese pastor's family. They showed me great love and care. Through them, God protected me. But the pastor and his wife had to go to America in 2007. Shortly after that, I was given the opportunity to go to South Korea. It was while I was still in China, staying at the Korean consulate in Beijing waiting to come to South Korea. Late one night, I saw Jesus in a dream. He had tears in his eyes. He walked towards me and said, Gyeongju, how much longer are you going to keep me waiting? Walk with me. Yes, you lost your earthy father, but I am your heavenly father and whatever has happened to you was because I love you. After I woke up from the dream, I kneeled and prayed to God for the first time. That night, I realized that God, my father, loves and cares about me so very much that he sent his son Jesus to die for me. I prayed, God, here I am. I just lay down everything and give you my heart, my soul, my mind, and my strength Please use me as you will. No, God has placed deep in my heart a great love for North Korea. 
just as my father was used there for God's kingdom. I now desire to be obedient to God. I want to bring the love of Jesus to North Korea. I look back over my short life, and I see God's hand everywhere. Six years in North Korea, 11 years in China, and the time of being here in South Korea. Everything I suffered, all the sadness and grief, everything that I experienced and learned, I was to give it all to God and use my life for His kingdom. I hope to honor my Father and to bring glory to my Heavenly Father by serving God with my whole heart. Currently, I am working hard to get into university to study political science and diplomacy. Then, I want to work for the rights of the people of North Korea whose rights have been taken away. I believe God's heart cries out for the lost people of North Korea. I humbly ask you, my brothers and sisters here in this place, to have the same heart of God. Please pray that the same light of God's grace and mercy, that reaches my father and my mother and know me, we are one day soon down upon the people of North Korea, my people. Thank you.